What's up guys? This is Eric with Olympic Health Physics and today we're going to be talking about how to use a Geiger counter. So if you work with or around radioactive materials, you probably have either used or need to use a Geiger counter. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to use the Ludlum 14C uh, with an attached pancake detector. When you're using a Geiger counter, there are three things that you need to check before, uh, before you start using it. The first thing is you need to make sure that the instrument is in calibration. So you need to look at the calibration uh, label on it to make sure that it is still within calibration. The second thing that you need to do is make sure that the instrument responds to a radio, radiation source, a radioactive source. So on this instrument, we have a check source with a window that we can, uh, we can open it up and we can put our pancake detector over the, uh, the cesium button source located on the side of the instrument to make sure that the instrument is actually responding to radiation. And then the last thing that you want to do is check the batteries to make sure that the batteries are operating um, within the battery test range. So we're going to take the pancake detector off. So to turn the Geiger counter on, you're going to turn the knob to the lowest range setting. So here we have it to point 0.1. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over and we're going to test the battery. We test the battery, battery by depressing the bat battery button and looking to make sure that we stay in the battery test range up here. So our battery's good. The next step is we want to make sure that we get a good uh, response from the instrument by checking it against the check source. So recall that the check source for this survey meter is on the side. So we're going to open up and we're going to put the pancake detector against the side of the source and we're going to make sure that we get a response here. So now we know that our instrument is operating and responding to radiation. And the next thing that I want to show you is how to read the scale on the instrument, on the readout. So you'll note on the instrument that we have three different scales on the face of the survey meter. The first scale or the bottom scale is an MR per hour. The second scale, or the mid scale, the middle range, is also an MR per hour. And then the top one up here, that goes across the top, is in counts per minute. So the bottom two scales are both in MR per hour. The very bottom scale is on the times 100 only. So when you have your potentiometer here set to the times 100, I know that's difficult to see. But at the times 100 uh, setting up here, that's when we use this bottom scale. If we're not on the times 100 setting here, we're only going to use that middle scale. So I have the instrument set to the times 0.1 reading. I'm going to change that dial. I'm going to flip it up to the times one. These values down here on your potentiometers, that is what is going to be your multiplication factor for any reading that you get on the face of the survey meter. So if I check the check source, since we have our knob set to times 0.1, we're gonna read off of that middle scale and we see that the needle is deflecting to about, we'll say 0.8. And since we're on the times point, are there times one scale, then it's a direct read. So our measurement here is 0.8 MR per hour. So sometimes on your survey meter, you'll notice that there's no deflection of the needle at all. And that's because you would be set on too high of a scale. So if you flip it down to the lowest scale, we'll start to see needle deflection. And so there we have the needle deflecting, showing us that the survey meter is actually turned on. We can also flip the audio on so that we can hear the audible clicks of a radiation. You also have a F and S setting or a fast and slow setting. Currently we're set on fast 
that's a very good setting for looking for removable contamination or any kind of contamination. The slow setting is going to be good for making a direct uh, measurement of the check source. I'll flip the audio off. So when you're using your Geiger counter, you're, when you're taking exposure rate or surveys, you're going to be using most of the time that middle scale, the MR per hour in the, in the middle, the mid range. Counts per minute is going to be used mostly for analyzing uh, wipe tests or looking for any kind of removable contamination. And oftentimes you're going to need to convert from counts per minute to disintegrations per minute using a known efficiency for your detector. That known efficiency may come from the manufacturer or it could also be measured using known radioactive sources by your physicist. So now you know the three things that you need to check before you use the instrument. Check the battery, check the calibration uh, sticker to make sure that it's still within calibration, and check uh, against a radiation source to make sure that the instrument responds to radiation. And we also covered how to read the different scales on the uh, Ludlum instruments so that you know uh, which scales to use and how to use the, uh, the dial setting to select the right potentiometer on the instrument. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.